Hello guys, welcome to another part of Bioshock. Oh, that's a bit loud. I'm just gonna lower the volume for me. Otherwise, I'll start uh, shouting into the microphone. Uh, we are here in the smuggler's den, I think it's called. And oh, Jesus, that almost scared me. Um, I'm right outside the submarine bay, but I can't get in. I need you for that. My family can't be more than a hundred yards away. Yeah, I don't really remember what happens here, like I said in the last episode, so uh, we'll see. Okay, is there some like machine here or? A gene bank, I'm, I'm gonna check that out just in case. Okay, I've got that, let's see what we have here. Medical expert, I'll get more health from first aid kits, god knows I know I need that. Um, a scrounger. Mm. It, it's good sometimes, but not always. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, nah, don't want that. Gain health and eve when I hack stuff. I think I'm gonna go with this one actually instead of the scrounger. I kind of forget about the scrounging anyway, and yeah, something I did when I played this the first time was that I pressed R after I had, I had emptied a, a body, and you can't do that. That just makes you reload, which made me waste so many Eve hypos. Okay, I don't have anything here. So that was quite annoying. Machine Buster is nice, but I think I would prefer th these ones. I'm not sure. Physical damage must be like shots from guns as well. Surely. Surely. Nope, I don't want any wine. Thank you. Someone up there, maybe? Don't know. Something in this one? No? Dead guy? Oops, smoked a bit. Didn't want to do that. There is a turret there, Jesus Christ. I saw you. And I want to hack you, because I think I can use you. Calm down. Ah, no one! Where's my... Oh, I don't have my electricity, that's right. Okay, I know what I'm gonna go get then. Calm down, Jesus. Okay, so I'm gonna have the electricity instead of the fire. So uh, we're out of that ice place, I don't really need it now. And then I have to use the first aid spray then. I wonder if there's a run button in this game that I haven't figured out. I miss, of course I do. It was only like a meter away. That's right, I used the metric system. Okay, let's see. I want you, and I want you, and we can go there, and that one is good. Uh, sure, let's go up a bit more. Go to the right, that's right. Uh, and we have one, and one more. So. Yep. There we go. Many crates, they will probably not contain much stuff. Just waste my time. No, that's not the one. Wait, there we are. They swap places when you change um, skills, so it kind of confuses me for a while. Let's listen to this then. We all come down here. Figured we all be part of Ryan's great chain. <laughs> Turns out Ryan's chain is made of gold, and ours are the sort with the big iron ball around your ankle. He's up in Fort Frolic banging fashion models. <sighs> We're down in this dump yanking guts out of fish. Fontaine's promising something better. He's like uh, one of us, you know? Like he's worked a day in his life. He says meet him at his fish packing joint at 11. I'll go, bring a couple of guys. Hey! <laughs> Hit the switch up there in the control booth and let me in. I think it's time to shake hands and get acquainted. Yes, Mr. Atlas. I would love to meet you. You had your fun, but enough is enough. If you press that button, you'll learn what it means to truly be my enemy. A Ryan guy doesn't really scare me. Because, uh, yeah, he doesn't seem too creepy. The big daddy scary. I mean, nothing is worse than them, surely. Uh, let's see... a button. 
There we have the button, nice and yellow, in case I'm stupid and miss it. Which I would do, surely, if it wasn't obvious like this. Maybe I should have gone in there first. Oh well. Yeah, thanks a lot. So I guess that's Atlas down there then. Or maybe not. So dark in here. If only your friend could look up and see. Maybe you could warn him. If only you could do something. <gasps> oh no. Except just stand here and watch him die. Okay, you could say that again. No, oh, many. Okay. Can I pick that up? That's annoying. To do it, I guess. These particle effects are really annoying me. Maybe I can turn them down. This is something I will look at, into if I remember later. Here are some nice things to pick up and blow things up with. Explosive stuffs. Mm -hmm. Ah. Pick it up! Oh Jesus! Pick another one of them. Where did he go? Oh, they weren't even there. Can't see crap through the smoke. Okay, let's do this the hard way. Where the heck did he go? There you are. There you laugh. There we go. The shotgun is damn slow but very powerful. something. Oops. That's me clicking outside the window again. Where the heck are you? You can also use the bodies, uh, I notice. I think I knew that actually. As um, protection for bullets. Like in a real action movie. So cool. Let's grab one, I'm sure there will be more. Can I get in there? I can actually. So let's do that. And here is stuff. More stuff. Okay. Spent the morning, John, with that crowd scientist. She's damaged goods, all right. Just like all those chumps they scraped out of them prison camps. But she's no crackpot. She's gonna make me the kind of scratch that'll have Ryan. Oh no! His family. You ooze in like an assassin, and then you try to sneak out like a thief. You're no CIA spook. Who are you? Why have you come here? There's two ways to deal with a mystery. Uncover it, or eliminate it. I wish I knew myself. Don't really know much about myself. Yet. Obviously that's something to come. Get out! Get out and get to Arcadia! Jesus Christ! Yeah, you can say that again. 
So that's his family gone, and uh, here we will enter the next zone. So let's do that. Okay, let's see what we have here. Lots of talking here now. Let's listen to some more talking. Seems like some poor blighters have started seeing ghosts. <laughs> Go! What are you waiting for? Ryan see? tells me it's a side effect of this plan's big business. One poor sod's memory is getting passed on to another through genetic sampling. Leaks. Lunatics. Rebellion. And now, bleeding ghosts. Ain't life in rapture grand. I wonder if anyone actually liked it here. Well, the way things Wait, turned out, I guess they there. didn't. They're everywhere. Yeah, uh -huh. let's take this wheelbarrow and throw it into your face, shall we? Hmm. Are you here or just like hiding, like a little coward? Oh god, these ones. They're not difficult. They're just very annoying because they keep disappearing on you. So they're a bastard to find sometimes. So let's see if he cares to show his ugly face or not. Oh, I'm full. Oh, there he is. Oh, you just see his shadow. For fuck's sake. Just come out. Just being a pain in the ass now. Yes! Grenades! Grenades, grenades. I must say, actually, the first time I played this game, I heard, had heard a lot about it and that's why I decided to play it. And it seemed like a lot of fun. But I wasn't that impressed, actually. Uh, maybe because I, I had heard a lot about it, so I knew some of the story already. Um, but then I did come to the end and with, I'm not going to spoil anything, but I was still surprised. Fortunately, I didn't know the exact story. Um, and I'm actually having more fun replaying this game than I did the first time around, so... Uh, it's actually great. I also have Bioshock 2 and hey, hello. Over here! Uh, bet you are. Um, Bioshock 2 and System Shock 2, which I also would love to make a let's play of. We'll see. Well, I'm gonna end this part here and see if I can catch that annoying piece of shit in the next part. So, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you then.